Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one of the interesting uh, things that happened in the past Tuesday, Tuesday this week is um, a feature called Mark of the Web. It was part of the security fixes uh, as uh, there was a security bypass. So Mark of the Web, what is Mark of the Web? So you go on the internet and you download some files, you download a program. What's going to happen with that is every time you download there will be a um, attached tag with that file. And that tag is Mark of the Web. It actually tells Windows that this file comes from the internet, could be dangerous, could be a problem. But it doesn't mean it is. It's simply a tag. It just gives it a different category where, well, this comes from outside. Technically, it could be a hazard. So. One of the things of uh, Mark of the Web is, of course, the smart screen. So when you download a file, your browser and the smart screen from Windows will tag it and say, well, you know, I don't recognize this. This could be a potentially dangerous file. It's going to actually pop up. And I have programs that I've downloaded from the web that are plenty correct and okay and don't have any malware, but will be flagged. And so you'll have to, you know, tell it, yeah, yeah, it's okay. That file is okay. And of course, you might have downloaded files that you click on to execute. It's going to say, well, you know, this is an unknown publisher. We don't know where this comes from. There's a security risk to running this. So all of that has to do with a smart screen, but also Mark of the Web. Now, Mark of the Web not only has been fixed to make sure that you continue having that security, but it added something new that is kind of interesting here. And it's the fact that um, ISO files, disk images, as we call them, were not included in there. So disk images did not have the mark of the web um, info. So even if you downloaded the image, what is inside the image, because a disk image has and contains files, it was not tagged. So you could execute it and you would not have a warning. Now. Um, one of the things that happens is that um, a lot of hackers have been using the uh, mark of the web uh, absence in ISO files to actually send images rather than sending a, a file in attachment. And that would actually not trigger the warning. So people could click on it and be bitten by malware or all sorts of problems. Well, the new Mark of the Web fix this month has actually changed that. Even images will have a Mark of the Web, and what they contain will be Mark of the Web, which means you will have a warning that you didn't have before. So kind of added security, basically. So apparently this is a big blow to a lot of hackers and of bad guys out there that were trying to you know, attack Windows in some way. Because now what was not marked as bad is going to be marked as, well, this is potentially hazardous. Make sure that what you're clicking on is, you know, something that you know. So uh, kind of interesting. Um, and um, it's, it's really, really, um, you know, an ongoing battle between um, hackers and, and, you know, standard PC procedures and so on, uh, which is crazy. And um, it's going on everywhere, you know. Um, but that's an interesting fix and, and an added bonus to that fix uh, this month. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.